Hey guys, how's it going? Now with Android 12, Google has introduced a lot of new features and Samsung has incorporated all of those new features of Android 12 in their latest One UI 4.0 update. But apart from all those Android 12 bonus features, Samsung has added more features of its own. So One UI 4.0 isn't just a basic incremental update. There's a lot of features hidden inside. Now, what are those features? And that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the top 10 coolest and the most essential One UI 4.0 features that you should definitely know about. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, Samsung has added the color palette option to change the look and feel of One UI 4 based on how your wallpaper color changes. To use it, open the settings menu. Now go to wallpaper and style and select color palette. Here, select a color palette based on the applied wallpaper. Now before the system applies a color palette to your UI, it might take a while, but the overall result is definitely appealing. The good part here is that the color palette is not just for the UI, but also for the app icons as well. However, do note that the change will apply to Samsung's built-in apps only and will keep the third-party app icons as it is. Now to do that, open settings and go to wallpaper and style menu. Select color palette and enable apply palette to app icons toggle from the following menu. Now widgets have got a massive overhaul in Android 12. They now come in different shapes and sizes and rounded corners too. In fact, basically they look much better than the previous era. Now Samsung and Google have added the new widgets and here's how you can find and add them to your home screen. Just long press on the home screen and select the widgets menu. Now check the widgets menu and add your favorite widgets to the home screen. Now another feature that Samsung's One UI 4.0 brings is the option to change media output from the lock screen itself. So basically whenever music is playing, you have an option to change the media output without unlocking the phone. Simply tap on the current media output device from the lock screen widget and then select another device as the output. With Samsung's One UI 4.0 to preserve the battery life, you now also have the option to light up an always on display for just new notifications only. To do that, open the settings app and go to the lock screen menu and select always on display. Now find an option to show for a new notification and tap on it. And that's it. Speaking of battery life, One UI 4.0 also offers an option to extend the battery lifespan. How this works is that the OS will limit the maximum charge to 85% to avoid battery wear and tear. To do that, open settings and go to the battery and device care menu. From here, select more battery settings. Now enable the protect battery toggle and you're good to go. Now in Android 12, the privacy settings have gotten far better. You get a separate dashboard to see which apps and games are accessing camera and microphone in the background. You can disable camera and microphone access for such apps. Now to do that, open the Samsung settings menu and then go to privacy. Check the camera, microphone and location permissions used by apps on your phone. From the same menu, you have an option to disable camera and microphone access and that's it. Now if you frequently need to disable or enable camera and microphone access on your Samsung phone, What's more is that you can even add them as a toggle inside the notification area. To do that, swipe down and open the notification bar. Swipe left to the last toggle panel and then hit the plus icon. You will see an option to add camera access and microphone access toggle. Just drag and drop them to the toggles menu and rearrange them based on your preferences. And that's it. Alright, so with Samsung's One UI 4.0, the company has added an option that's called Extra Dim that basically bumps down the screen brightness beyond the minimum setting for a more comfortable viewing late at night in the dark. It's not available by default, but you can easily add it by opening the notification menu tapping on the plus icon and then adding the extra dim toggle. Now Samsung's phones usually have a great camera and with One UI 4.0, you can use the gallery app to edit the photo's information as well. To do that, open an image from the gallery app and open the details menu. Now tap on edit. From here on, you can easily change the date, time, location and more such details of the photo. Make sure to save the changes that you made before exiting. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Warren from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.